You have this tremendous research that you have done over many, many years, and you identified these two mindsets mm -hmm. that shape how people approach challenges in life. Yes. When people are in a fixed mindset, they believe their basic abilities, even their intelligence, is just a fixed trait. You have a certain amount, that's it. Some people are lucky, some people are not so lucky, but they can't change. But when people are in a growth mindset, they believe that even basic abilities can be developed. For example, through hard work, through good strategies, through lots of mentorship, instruction, and resources. It's tremendously important for our children to learn more of a growth mindset, uh, especially in today's world. Uh, what the jobs will be is it's very uncertain. And we need kids who thrive on that challenge and uncertainty and don't feel threatened by it. Now, it's important to understand that we all have both mindsets. It's not that you're a fixed mindset person, you're a growth mindset person. It could be that you turn more towards fixed, you turn a little more toward growth, but we all have the two mindsets at different times. For example, maybe most of the time I'm in a growth mindset, but if I face a tremendous challenge, I might start thinking, oh, maybe I don't have the ability for this, or this won't make me look very good if I struggle. Maybe if I have a big setback, I can start to think, maybe it's fixed and I don't have it. Maybe if I meet someone who seems more brilliant and I think, oh, they really have it. Maybe I don't have it as much. So. There are many things in our environment that can trigger us into a fixed mindset, even though we're usually in a growth mindset. So it's really important for our children and our students to learn to enjoy challenges, to know how to work their way through the challenges, and to um, be resilient in the face of obstacles. That will serve them well in school and will serve them well in the world beyond school. So even in young children around three and a half and four years old, it's not that the intelligence mindsets are fully formed, but we see a form of growth or fixed mindset. Most of them are still favoring a growth mindset at that age, but some of them, um, when they're scolded or criticized or they have a, a big failure, some of them think, I'm not a good person and this is something fixed about them and they don't want to persist on the task. But a parent can look at their child and see, are they afraid of something difficult? Do they give up and become easily frustrated? Do they say, I can't do this without really trying? And so in that case, you really wanna focus on, okay, let's figure this out. That's the big theme for parents and teachers. Let's figure this out. What's the first thing we might do? And then what should we do? And then, see, we figured it out. We um, co cooperated together or you stuck to it. You try different things and we figured it out. And the biggest gift you can give a child is the idea that something may be hard, you may not ha know how to do it now, but with time, effort, instruction, collaboration, you can figure it out. They thought a growth mindset was just effort, that you should praise every effort the child made, whether it was successful or not, that you shouldn't ever tell them they did well. Uh, a parent said to me, oh, I wish I could praise my daughter's accomplishments. I said, what are you talking about? Of course you can praise her accomplishments, but 
then talk about how did she get there? It's the process, not just the effort. But if you tell a child, boy, you really worked hard, but they didn't make any progress, what are you telling them? Do you want to say, I, I appreciate the effort you put into it, but let's figure out how we can learn this better. So not just effort, but the process the child engaged in for making progress and the process they need to engage in to make more progress. Mm -hmm.